Are you feeling heartbroken? Perhaps you know it's time to end a relationship or maybe your relationship just ended. Maybe that relationship isn't even an intimate relationship. Maybe it's a friendship. Maybe it's a fight with a family member. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to release some of that sadness. And now also I'll follow up with an EFT tapping video so you can do some tapping to help yourself move through that emotion. Because we get to release all of our emotions that aren't positive and calm. It doesn't mean we have to forgive the other person. It doesn't mean that what they did was right. And it doesn't mean that um, the relationship we had is over. What it does mean is that we get to leave that emotion out of our body so we can come back to peacefulness, calm, and our own strength. But first, here's the show reel. So one of the biggest things I work with with my clients is a feeling of sadness after they either know they have to really leave a relationship or after they've left a relationship. And sometimes it's even two or three relationships ago. They may be in a positive relationship now and they're still heartbroken over a relationship that didn't go right in the past. And that is influencing how they are interacting with their current partner. So maybe they got cheated on and now they're suspicious that their current partner is cheating on them, even though that partner may not be. So how do you work with sadness so that way you can leave your relationship if you need or you can move through the sadness in your current relationship? So first, have you ever released emotion before? I know you have and you can do it again, right? So notice what's worked for you in the past. For most people, writing it down is very, very impactful because you can actually write out all your feelings, like just brain dump all of your feelings. And if you're worried that someone's going to see it, burn it when you're done. In fact, make it a ceremony. So write everything down that you feel, whether you think it's true or not, just allow yourself unfiltered, just write and write and write and write and then burn it. For other people, they like to yell and scream and really move it through their body. So if you don't have a private place, I always suggest to people get in your car and drive around and then just scream and say everything that you want to hit the steering wheel. If you want park somewhere and just ah, and get it out of your body, move through it, say whatever you want to say, how sad you are, how betrayed you are, how dare you hurt me? How dare you do this? Whatever comes up with that sadness, because often under sadness is also hurt or anger or betrayal or jealousy or feelings of being unlovable or unwanted. Have you ever felt those feelings? Even a little bit? So that's why it's so important that you release them out of your body. You can also use emotional freedom techniques or tapping. Like I said, I'll be putting up a video around EFT tapping for sadness, but using this tool, once again, as you're driving around or when you're thinking about it, when you're experiencing it, just tapping through the points will help you move through whatever emotion is stuck in your body, whatever needs to move. Because remember, emotion is energy in motion. So we get that energy moving, we get it out of our body. Because actually, our body only hangs on to emotion for a few seconds. After that, it's all of our mind that's holding on to that emotion. So you can easily and effectively release emotions of sadness. Another thing that I notice in people is once we get sad, it's easier to get more and more sad. We start looking at all the bad things in our life because whatever we focus on is what we're manifesting. Right? So if you notice your mind is starting to go towards all the negative things, what I want you to do is I want you to take that image of whatever you're imagining and I want you to turn it to black and white, almost as if you're watching it on TV. And then I want you to shrink it in your mind smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's so, so itty bitty tiny. And then I want you to think of something that makes you happy. Your dog, your kids, um, your lover, whatever it is, ice cream, like whatever it is, or a time in space. Maybe you were playing at the playground when you were five, like it doesn't matter. A time that really, really you remember being happy, joyful. And I want you to bring that picture in and I want you to make it vibrant and colorful and make that picture larger and larger and larger and really feel the feelings, really feel the emotions and bring that 
into your body, into all your cells. Just imagine it penetrating all your cells because this can change your neurological pathways, right? You're bringing in, you're shrinking and pulling away that sadness and you're bringing in something more powerful. So play with those ideas, play with journaling, play with screaming, throw eggs in a tree, whatever it takes to move that energy out of your body and push that sadness away. Not where you're pushing it out of your body, right? We're actually replacing it. We're honoring it. We're accepting it. We're pushing it away. We're not storing it. We're not shutting it down. So you're honoring the energy, honoring that motion, push it away, bring in something that's positive and happy. No spiritual bypassing here. And then do some tapping because remember your love, you're loving and you're lovable. And we get to feel happy, we get to feel sad, but we don't need to be stuck in sadness. Namaste.